Yeah, so it's a big plan. They're hoping to move all of the lanes of traffic on the eastbound side all the way over to the right. I'll turn it around so you guys can see what it looks like right now. And they're actually planning to do this so that crews can work in the median so that they can help put the fly put the flyover um, so that they help so that they can help get the flyover done. And right now they're saying that it's going to be passing from the top golf that we just passed and the flyover is expected to not be finished until this summer and right now the lane shift is expected to last until that point but 7 p.m tonight is when people will want to avoid i-264 east entirely traffic is moving along i-264 just fine right now but by tuesday morning that could be a whole different story eastbound traffic is going to be shifted about 25 feet to the right right at top VDOT is rolling out a new traffic pattern on I-264 East while crews work to get the Greenwich Road flyover project completed to ease congestion at Witch Duck Road. Essentially, it's a lot of roads converging in one location at once, and that creates congestion, that creates weave motions as people are trying to get off the, the interchange and access other roads. This is what the flyover will look like when it opens up in late 2020. In the meantime, alternating multi-lane closures will be in place on I-264 East between exit 15 at Newtown Road and exit 16 at Witch Duck Road starting around 7 p.m. tonight. And then a few hours later, traffic will come to a complete stop in some areas for around 20 minutes. And that is, of course, for safety reasons. We want to make sure that traffic is slowed down and is done so in a manner that um, ensures the safe switch over. VDOT says the shift won't impact the number of lanes on the road and traffic will be back to normal by 5 a.m. for rush hour commuters, but drivers should still plan for extra time on the road. People maybe slow down, they're unsure about um, a new roadway pattern that they're not accustomed to. But VDOT doesn't imagine the delay will last for long. We fully expect that as people drive through the area and get accustomed to that shift, that um, things will return to normal. So the lane change was originally planned for last night, but VDOT says that work that's that's planned for this evening could also get pushed back again if the weather isn't just right. But even if it doesn't work out tonight, they're still not sure exactly when they're going to be able to get this work completed. So you'll want to make sure you stay updated on those changes in the morning. Live in Virginia Beach, Kofo Lasaki, News 3.